Well, good to welcome in another new member of the Calgary Flames signing here over the course of this offseason, just shortly after free agency opened. Dennis Gilbert joins us, the defenseman from Buffalo, New York, and that's where he joins us now. Uh, Dennis, maybe first of all, just congratulations on uh, the two-year deal to join the Calgary Flames. And, you know, just a thought about going through the process and eventually finding a new home here in Calgary. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, just some of the talks I've had with some of the management um, and some of the coaching staff already, like I think it's going to be a really good fit. Um, I think my style of play is going to is going to fit in well with the with what the group's done already um, and the organization, what they're kind of looking for. So I'm really excited. Well, and I'd imagine a lot of experience in terms of the Flames organization. Saw them a lot last year uh, in terms of the Stockton Heat. So what stood out to you about the group, maybe the style of play, and, and just structurally as an organization, how it might fit your game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just from playing against the Stockton team last year, uh, like they were, we were kind of the one, two teams in our division. So our games were always, they felt almost like NHL games when, when they were going on last year, super high pace. Um, a lot of big guys that can really skate and move the puck well. And um, that's something that I try to do. So I think it could fit in well. And then even just in the past, I've played, uh, played a couple of times in Calgary um, against someone I was playing with the Blackhawks and, Super cool arena to play in. Fan base was super into it. Um, it's an awesome city. Uh, similar weather to, to where I grew up, so I think it's a good fit. Well, and, and I'd imagine, you know, obviously with the goal of, of being right here with the Calgary Flames, um, you know, maybe just tell me about, uh, you know, where you're at in terms of, you know, professional development. Obviously, you've played, you know, a number of games in the National Hockey League, spent some time in the AHL as well, but just sort of where you're at in that development curve and, and where you think you can go. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the last – since I, when I got traded to Colorado a couple of years ago, um, when I was out there, um, I spent some time with the Avalanche, some time with the Eagles, and I, I really am thankful to the time I spent down in the American League um, with the Colorado Eagles staff. Their staff did an unbelievable job, I think, developing me, and um, I think that I'm, I've gotten much better as a player, much more well-rounded as a player since since that last big stint I had in the NHL, so I think I'm ready for the for that next challenge and looking forward to it. Is that kind of what uh, what drives you? What you know the motivation is, just trying to make sure that that's a full time you know uh, spot for you at the National Hockey League level, and kind of what what pushes you over the off season. Yeah, I think that's kind of everybody's goal. Yeah. Um, I think I've had a pretty good mindset about, about what's been going on. It's been a crazy couple of years with COVID and the trade and everything, and um, just trying to roll the punches, take it take it positively, and no matter where I am that day, just try to work on getting better, and um, you know being the best player I can be and helping the team in whatever way I possibly can. Coming out of Notre Dame, what, uh, what was the transition going from college to pro hockey? And, uh, you know, how, how does that, how much time do you feel like it takes to kind of get that feel for it and, uh, you know, where it's at now? It's, it's definitely an adjustment. Um, at Notre Dame, we, uh, we were very fortunate to have a very, uh, very big alumni system and, and a lot of donors. So we were flying, you know, I was flying private at Notre Dame to go play against teams on the East coast. Or, I mean, we were, we were flying to, from Notre Dame to Wisconsin, um, direct private. So going from that aspect of it to hopping on the bus in the, in that, um, in the Midwestern division in the American league was, was a bit of a, it's a different, a different lifestyle, I guess you could say. But, yeah. um, as far as the on ice play and everything, like there's so many good players and, uh, in that first, that first, that first few months, it was, more just kind of learning the style of play, pro hockey, and, and all that stuff. But um, thanks to some good leadership we had on our team and coaching staff, I thought that it was a smooth transition. And by Christmas or so that year, I felt pretty assimilated and ready to go. What about uh, the city? Connections uh, to the team, organization, uh, guys you played with in the past? Or, uh, or are you starting kind of fresh? Um, I think it's, for the most part, pretty fresh. I am very fortunate that uh, like one of my best friends growing up is Nick D. Simone, and he played on Stockton last year, and he actually just signed a two-year deal as well. So it'd be nice to kind of have Nick out there, especially when we get out there for training camp and everything, just to meet some of the staff and the, the coaches and the trainers and everything and some of the guys. It'd be nice to have a one familiar face at least to, to go through that with. Yeah, yeah, no question. Well, listen, uh, appreciate you taking the time from Buffalo today, and uh, all the best. Uh, look forward to seeing you here in uh, in camp. And well, I know it off season rolls by fast, especially when we get to the summer. So it won't be too far from now. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for having me. Super excited to get out there. Thanks, man. Take care.